hello guys and welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to learn how to simplify sets of this nature here we have two questions okay and um, we have first of all the square root of 5 plus 2 root 6 and then we also have the square root of 6 minus 2 root 8 now we are going to use two approaches in solving these questions the first approach is going to be a trick and then the second one we have a formula that is going to help us to solve these two questions so without wasting much time let's consider the first question so for question number one now if you have a set in the form square root of a plus two root b now you want to find the factors of b that adds up to give you a so now let's focus on question 1. We are going to consider the value 6. Now the factors of 6, we have 1 and 6. And then we also have 2 and 3. Now which pair adds up to give you 5? Clearly we know that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So we are going to pick 2 and then 3. So we have 5 equals 2 plus 3. So since we have two numbers adding up to give us 5, we are going to write the square root of a number plus the square root of another number. Now plus because the operation here is addition. So we are going to also replace that with addition here. So we have the square root of, we are going to introduce these two numbers, 3 plus 2. So this is the answer. So always when you have two numbers including 2, then you are going to make sure that you are going to put 2 on the right hand side. So the square root of 5 plus 2 root 6 is equal to root 3 plus root 2. Now let's solve the second question. Here we have the square root of 6 minus 2 root 8. Now to solve this question, we need to find factors of 8 that adds up to 6. So factors of 8 are 1 and then 8. We have 2 and then 4. Now 2 plus 4 is 6 and then 2 times 4 is 8. So we are going to use this pair 2 and 4. So here we are going to write the square root of a number minus the square root of another number now we have minus because here we have 6 minus 2 root 8 the operation sign is subtraction so we are going to introduce the same thing here and don't forget that because we have 2 as part of the pair we are going to make sure that we have 2 on the right hand side so we are going to have root of 4 minus root of 2 now we can simplify the square root of 4. Now the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So we have 2 minus root 2. So this is the answer. So this is a simple trick that can help you to simplify sets or expressions of this nature. However, you can do this in your examination. So now let's look at how we can use the formula to solve questions like these. So now let's look at how we can use the formula to solve for question number one and then question number two. So we are saying that if you have something like a plus or minus the square root of b all under a bigger square root, then that is equal to a plus the square root of a squared minus b over 2 all under a bigger square root plus or minus a minus the square root of a squared minus b over 2 all inside a bigger square root so if the operation sign separating the two terms is addition then it means that here is also going to be addition if it is subtraction then it means that we are going to have subtraction here so let's solve the first question so for the first question we had a bigger square root and then we have 5 plus 2 root 6. So let's solve this using 
the formula but before we solve this question let's compare these two you realize that here we have 5 plus 2 root 6 the coefficient of root 6 is 2 and then here we have a because you are using plus so we have a plus the square root of b the coefficient of b is 1 so we need to find a way of expressing 2 root 6 as I said in the form of root b okay so to do that we are going to square the value 2 root 6 so 2 root 6 squared is equal to we have 2 squared multiplying the square root of 6 squared so we have 2 squared is 4 and then root 6 squared is what 6 so 4 times 6 is 24 so this can be expressed as having 5 plus square root of 24 under a bigger square root. So having done this, we can use this formula to simplify question 1. So we have 5 plus square root of 24 under the bigger square root. Now from the question, a is equal to 5 and then b is equal to 24 so we are going to have 5 plus square root of 5 squared minus 24 all divided by 2 that is for this part and then because the operation sign here is addition we have addition here now we are focusing on this part so we are going to have 5 minus square root of 5 squared minus 24 all divided by 2 now let's simplify so we have the bigger square root and then we have 5 plus now 5 squared is 25 and then 25 minus 24 is 1 so we have the square root of 1 divided by 2 plus we also have 5 minus 5 squared is 25 minus 24 is 1 so minus the square root of 1 divided by 2 now the square root of 1 is 1 so we are going to have 5 plus 1 divided by 2 and then here we also have 5 minus 1 divided by 2 now 5 plus 1 is 6 and then 6 divided by 2 is 3 so we have square root of 3 plus 5 minus 1 is 4 and then 4 divided by 2 is 2 so our final answer is root 3 plus root 2 so now you understand the reason why when solving with a trick, we are asked to put root 2 on the right hand side so that when the operation sign the subtraction instead of addition, you don't end up getting a different answer. So now let's move ahead and solve the second question. So for question number 2, we have 6 minus 2 root 8 inside the bigger square root. And then we are going to simplify this expression. So like we did in the first example, or in the first question we need to make sure that this 2 root 8 is in the form of root b now here we have negative okay so you can ignore the negative let's focus on 2 root 8 so we are going to square 2 root 8 so we have 2 root 8 all squared so we are going to have 2 squared times root 8 squared and then 2 squared is 4 so we have 4 times 8 and that is 32 so we can express this as 6 minus the square root of 32 so after getting this expression we can use this formula to simplify this question so from the question a is equal to 6 and then b is equal to 32 so we are going to have 
6 plus the square root of 6 squared minus 32 all divided by 2 that is for this part and because we have subtraction here we have minus the square root of that is the bigger square root inside it we have 6 minus square root of 6 squared minus 32 all divided by 2 so we have 6 plus now 6 squared is 36 minus 32 is 4 so we have the square root of 4 divided by 2 minus bigger square root we have 6 minus the square root of 4 divided by 2 so let's simplify further now the square root of 4 is 2 so we have 6 plus 2 divided by 2 minus we have 6 minus 2 divided by 2. Now 6 plus 2 is 8. And then 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we have the square root of 4 minus 6 minus 2 is 4. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now the square root of 4 is 2. So we have 2 minus root 2 and this is going to be our final answer so that's it for today's video do well to subscribe to the channel like the video and share among friends hope to see you in my next video bye bye